I think all of us knew uh, the quarterback doc is excellent. If you haven't seen it, I just I I demand that you watch it as a sports fan because I think it's demand. amazing. I like that. I, I I think it's I think it's amazing. And so what I would say is like Peyton Manning's the executive producer, right? Peyton knows the position and understands the lifestyle as good as anyone who's ever played the game. Yep. We all respect him. Yep. No one will be John Madden. Would you admit with me? Like what I mean by John Madden is like the In influence a, that John yeah. Madden had as a broadcaster. And then obviously with the video game, it overshadowed everything he did as a coach. Yeah. No, it did. But he was a Hall of Fame head coach. No too. Doubt. Absolutely. Yes. No doubt. No, yes. no, no. no. I, but I, he is more known for one of the greatest selling games, if not the greatest uh, sports selling game of all time. Absolutely. Right. And yes. and so for a lot of younger people, like you say, oh, John Madden, they go video game or broadcaster yes. or both. And they don't even know that he coached. Now, I'm not saying everyone. I'm just saying a lot of people don't even know that he coached. And I, I look at like Peyton Manning. We're going to know that he played. Right. Because he had such a great career. I actually think and he's not going to be John Madden because no one's John Madden. No, I think whatever he puts his mind to in terms of this broadcasting thing. His post career, post playing career stuff has been as good as his playing career. Manning Cast is the best of the best of all the player things. I know the NBA's tried it. You know the what do they call it? The player cast. What, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the which one? The players broadcast. What does TNT call it? Oh, I think I'm not sure. It'll come to me. It's a uh, text line. Help us out. Eight eight nine. It's like Chris Webber. And it, yeah, we'll I know exactly time. what you're talking about. Yeah, right. It wasn't even close to as good. Yeah. We know that for like the national championship game, they'll get all the coaches together, college football coaches, and they'll sit in a room. It's not as good as the Manning cast. Eli and Peyton, two brothers who won Super Bowls, sitting there shooting the breeze, yeah. bringing on superstars every now and then, explaining the plays that are happening, watching dorky old Peyton Manning geek out over a play. Like, Manning cast is amazing. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, players only. Players there only is nowhere near as good. Yeah. What he's done as an executive producer on this quarterback show, Hard Knocks is done. Hard Knocks to me officially the died. The preseason version, yes. In season, give me the Cardinals. That was interesting to me, though. That was that, I still would like to see in season, like as it's going on, there is something to be They're said about that. Not going to give you anything anymore, like because the teams are all creating their own content. As we talk about yeah. what you're searching for in content, they're giving you morsels on their own websites. They don't want anything negative out there on HBO. No one wants to. Like, I know we'll watch the Jets thing. I'm telling you right now, nothing is better than this quarterback, Doc. And I think it's changed. I knew quarterbacking was difficult. Oh, my God. To see them balance their family life, to see the the support that they're getting from their significant other is incredible. Like, it really is. Like, I know Mahomes' wife takes a lot of criticism. That I think it's over the top from people. Seeing how invested emotionally he is as a father and she is in his career yeah. – it's inspiring to see Mariota's, uh, you know, significant other giving birth, and then the next day after giving birth, he's basically going to be benched. Yeah, right. And we can get into the whole conversation about him walking away from the team and all that and getting surgery. To see Kirk Cousins and his wife talk about how Tuesdays are for them, yeah. I just, I knew the quarterback position was difficult. I knew they dedicated their lives to it. I, I underestimated. Just the preparation, yeah. the dedication, like everything. I underestimated everything. And I got to just say, Peyton Manning, as an executive producer, thank you for illuminating to us normal fans who love the sport and understand how difficult it is. We can't even begin to comprehend the difficulty in playing the position. It's so interesting. Uh, you're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app. Download the Odyssey app and favorite 95.7 The Game for the best and most up-to-date sports coverage. And don't forget that you can also watch us every day on our YouTube and Twitch streams. Just log on and search 95.7 The Game. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel while you are there. And also, talking quarterbacks, talking football, 49ers training camp. Training camp opens next Wednesday. We will be live from the Hilton Santa Clara on Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're going to be out there, make sure to stop by to see both the Morning Roast and Steiny and Guru. Also a reminder to join us at the Hilton Santa Clara out of every single home game this season for their public tailgate. Why sit in traffic? <laughs> Seriously, you can enjoy refreshing beverages, delicious eats from their very own food truck. Open three hours pregame and an hour postgame. Always free admission. Plus, you can follow them on Instagram to get the sneak peek on upcoming events and fan inspired menu items. Joe Shasky. I'm really, I'm really excited for next week because obviously football starts. I'm wearing all my football gear today. And you, you're watching the quarterback doc and you're saying to yourself, 
the coaching and the collaboration between head coach, quarterback, position coach, quarterback coach, offensive play caller, players. Like, I'm watching Mahomes go over to Valdez Scantling, and they're talking about their coverage. that they're This is in-game and on the bench, and they're talking about the coverage. And then Mahomes is going over, and he's talking to his offensive lineman about why he's doing certain things. I think we uh, we know we know playing position is so difficult. <laughs> the uh, the way that Mahomes oscillates between competitive fiery dude to cerebral assassin to tactician, and he's just back and forth, and then the improv and the science and the art and the blending of everything and the joy in which he plays, man, you can just see it. It's he's incredible. Just having, he literally is. Like a kid in the backyard just playing football, but he's so much better than everyone else. How about it's his, just crazy? But his understanding of what the defense is trying to do to him, yes. and then yeah. to see the way I Andy Reid, so damn good. to see the way Andy Reid and him are, are 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 coming together. I cannot like Montana and and Walsh get so much uh, credit for being like the greatest duo of oh. all time, and I get it. It, it makes a lot of sense. I mean. Brady Belichick, probably. But, but, yeah. but, but Belichick wasn't calling plays. Yeah, it's right. Different. It's different. And Brady Belichick different. wasn't calling plays. It's different. And I'm not trying to take anything away from Belichick. I'm just talking about relationships. Okay, when that's Andy fine. Reed, yeah. When Andy Reid goes to him, I like the shallow cross, whatever you know, whatever it was to get that touchdown against the Chargers. And Mahomes is like, yeah, that's a great call. I like that call. And he wasn't even thinking about that. You're seeing brilliance yeah. of offensive play calling mixed with brilliance and mastery of the position at the perfect time. It was. Uh, my mind was exploding, and I just kept coming back to the 49ers in this upcoming season, and we talked so much about quarterback play. If you think that, and I, and I think Shanahan's brilliant, but if you don't think that the quarterback matters, and that we, as we talk about like what you guys talk about, it's the most important position in sports, and the relationship between the play caller, the head coach in this case, and that quarterback, and then that quarterback with his teammates, it's it's... We can't talk enough about no. it. No. Why do you dominate sport? Why do you think it's the cash cow that it is? The quarterback dominates everything. We can, Jasky, we can do an entire show here. And we're talking about ratings, what people want to hear. Yeah. They don't want to hear this. We can take every single quarterback from every single team and have an hour conversation on what's going on there. 100%. Jacksonville, we can talk about with Trevor Lawrence. Uh, you want to go to uh, the Panthers. Yep. You want to talk about Bryce Young, what he's going into there. Uh, you want to talk about Baker Mayfield. Can you get redemption out in Tampa Bay? Hell, you want to go to, uh, I don't know, Cincinnati, Joe Burrow. Can he ever get that next level? Can he win that Super Bowl? Like, Have you gotten to the part with Burrow and Mahomes? Oh, it's great. And, and the rivalry just between them? Oh, yeah. He like, feels The it. rivalry within the rivalry within the he rivalry. Says he, I match, we match up better against the Bills before the Bills and yes. Bengals played. But I want to play Joe Burrow, which is what that's all a champion. Of us, that's a champion right there. Well, and it also is how us fans talk, <laughs> yes. right? It's, like it's it was just incredible. And I keep coming back to next week, right? The 49ers next week. What am I gonna? I'm gonna go to training camp and like, what am I looking for? And I get a little. We we get to see these games, right? Yeah. And the games that we see and the way that it's presented on television is the smallest fraction. Of the full dock that you're seeing play out in this quarterback thing, like it, it's illuminating. It really is. David and Brent wanted us to chime in on the conversation. We're talking about quarterback. I can't on Netflix. wait for next week. If you're just joining us, yeah. If you haven't seen it, quarterback is his doc on Netflix. It's really cool. Follows the lives of three NFL quarterbacks on and off the field: Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, and uh, Marcus Mariota in season one. They've already renewed it, so it's going to get another season. Who do you want to see next year? Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. Maybe Brock Purdy. Maybe Trey Lance, real quick. I'd like to see oh. them go different positions oh. over time. I think this is an endless opportunity. Go left tackle, go wide receiver. I want to see what the defense is doing. Let's say you, David and Brentwood. You're on uh, the Morning Rose with Spadoni and Chasky. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, well, I started watching uh, that show on Netflix myself. Uh, it may it really change the way I look at quarterbacks. Right. Uh, I'll question, I will question myself the next time I keep saying, man, mm -hmm. it sucks. Okay. Nothing they go through is soft about it. Agreed. When you look at all three quarterbacks, they're so similar as far as their physical makeup that you wonder how the heck did they get up after getting hit <laughs> yep. so much and repeatedly in areas that they're, you know, I mean, they're hurt and they keep getting hit on the same area over and over. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. But the one thing that I was completely taken back for was, uh, the training the Pat Mahomes puts himself through. Incredible. Okay. Uh, he goes through That's all crazy. this exercise, but the one part where he, his uh, trainer puts him in, in, into 
it's like a day to day thing where he goes into these really uncomfortable positions. Yep. Leg twisted one side, yep. foot going, going the other one, his back completely arched. Uh, and like he said, he needs to adjust his mind and his body to be on these positions because sooner or later he's going to be in one of these positions. If he's not ready, he's going to get hurt really bad. Yeah. And when you think about it, a lot of times you see these guys on the, you know, one day, when they get all piled up, these guys look like a pretzel. It's like, yep. you're wondering, how did, how did he get out? How come they didn't, he didn't break his leg? I mean, his foot. But like I said, it's just the way he trains. And I'm wondering, why is it that not more teams, you know, go through that kind of training? And if they do... How come it doesn't work well, the same? Well, I, I mean, the, you would think that the preparation, the Pat yeah. Mahomes, is, is something that you would copy. Well, David, Thanks, David. David, I mean, you, within it, you can see, like, the way Kirk Cousins goes about it is a very cerebral way of yes. going about it. Pat Mahomes is very, very cerebral, but you can clearly see the artistic side of him and the, I would say, cross-sport way that he plays the game. Yes. Like, he's, he's training. A lot of those trainings, it look more like football and basketball. He's also, I mean, like baseball and basketball training. Mahomes is also just more physically gifted. Of like, course. Like, just athletically than Kirk Cousins. So he's he can do more of these things than a guy like Kirk, who's more a little more... I'm not saying Kirk's not ath unathletic. No, Kirk is a ridiculous he's very, athlete. He's very athletic. I actually yes. grew a tremendous respect. The guy that I thought of when I was watching the but doc... But he's not Mahomes, but that's... The opinion not, yeah. I, I, I grew on, I was thinking of Alex Smith yeah. and what he went through with the 49ers. Oh, my God. Right? And I, look, do I think he was the right pick? No. Do I think he was a great player? No. But now, having seen this quarterback, Doc, I do give him tremendous amounts of more empathy than I ever extended him before. The other thing that I keep coming back to, the Niners got a long way to go at quarterback. Mm. And they have such a great team. And we've got some sound from Steve Young. Yeah. And I agree with him. And this is someone who understands what it takes to play the position at the highest level. And he said some things. Not necessarily. And I listened to Mark Willard yesterday. They were playing some stuff about Brock. He said some other things that I really want to get into that I think people were totally. missing. Because when I watched that doc, I came away thinking the same thing Steve Young thought. Absolutely.